I had set out as four sets, starting with 30 reps, 25, 20, and 15 on the last set, going up each set. Hey, okay, so I didn't mention this, but this is leg B. Uh, legs A would do back squats, leg B would do front squats. So um, if you notice, this is a little bit more than I was doing on back squats the other day uh, or on the last leg video. I'm slowly starting to progress up. I won't go, uh, yeah, I won't go heavy enough to where I feel like I'm compromised because I still have some issues going on with my back and legs and all that stuff. But one thing that I want you to take note of on this is that I'm trying to make my squats like a loop. So I'm not coming up and stopping. I'm not going down and stopping. I'm trying to keep constant tension. So I don't think of my reps as up, down, up, down. I try to think of it like I'm on a Ferris wheel or something, like I'm just doing a continuous loop. It, it makes your legs burn a lot more. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I think it, it really contributes to leg development. So it looks like this. Okay, so the third movement is belted squats. I don't have a hack squat machine in my garage. There's, for one, there's not enough room for it. And two, hack hurts my knees. But these belted squats, hooking it up to the pencil X stack, I feel these really good. But if you'll notice, I'm gonna try to uh, replicate the same squat pattern I did on squats. Is I wanna try to keep that continuous motion going. So it looks like this. Belted squats. So quads are finished, getting ready to move on to hamstrings. Back, a little check. I did get some blood in there. So on leg, leg A, you, uh, you notice that we did dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. On legs B, we're going to do barbell party yells or stiff legged deadlifts. The one thing on these is I try to uh, make sure that I'm retracting my shoulder blades just to keep my spine safe. I don't go heavy on these. I'm really just trying to stretch my hamstrings on the way down and push through my heels. Uh, and my hamstrings up into my glutes on the way up. So. Else. 
So the last movement for legs today is single leg line leg curls. Two reasons for that uh, movement. One is I don't have a seated leg curl. If I did, I'd be doing those. But doing a unilateral movement is kind of like an insurance policy against imbalances in the body. So, um, yeah, serves two purposes. So, last movement for legs. Before I get started, is just to get the blood flowing. 